Hi everyone, this is Kevin Pung Hee Hyung from Hi, and today I am reacting to Wo Shin Dae by Magic Hang featuring um, Duchi Yang, and I've already heard this actually, um, but it was a while ago. On the first day they released, actually, I heard it, but uh, it's been a while since I heard it, so we're gonna listen to it again and react um, to it along with the rest of my Hi members. I love the cover art, by the way. I think Magic Hang, Vincent Young, is super duper talented uh, in this area as well, too. So artwork wise, oh. Mm. Wow, yeah, very explicit lyrics uh, and, you know, explicit Hmong lyrics. So that's really interesting, really cool, especially since this seems like a, you know, Oshin Day as in like uh, domestic abuse. So I think it could flow, uh, not flow, but it could be very well written as explicit lyrics to really bring out the emotions of the song. Yeah, I, I really like his, uh, you know, his flow, of course, it, but, and I like his voice, the low ends of his voice is really good for a rapper's voice, but the only thing, like, I kind of don't like about these rappers or the not like these rappers but the rapping style so to say is that it's very similar you know it's very like death rhyme style very like low and deep and like and it's just like doo -doo 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 -doo. it's always the same like flow in a way right so that's the only reason i don't like it is because they all kind of have the same flow they all have the same sounds or they try to create the same sounds even though i think they could be more stylistic and more separate from each other to stand out but yeah, that's just kind of like my two cents of like a rapper, a Hmong rapper's voice. So, so far, I really like how he's storytelling um, from a woman's well, my assumption is it's a woman's perspective because he talks about um, having children and um, with him or the partner. Um, I could be completely wrong. I don't want to be wrong on these whole gender roles, um, what's being talked about in this song here, but um, very deep already. And then it goes on to Duchi's part where she's now... It sounds like she's um, talking to, you know, others. And she's in the perspective of um, Magic's character that he is um, talking about. Um, so it looks like they're singing from the same perspective, if that makes sense. Rapping and singing from the same perspective. So very deep song so far. Uh, Love the melody. Couldn't take a Ah, so I think I kind of get the sense of what this uh, song is about. You know, it's pretty much she's rapping from the girl's point of view, being like, you know, of course, the parents are always telling you to Oshinde, even though it's, you know, abuse from your uh, husband. And of course, this is, she. it's pretty much like her, like saying this after she has passed away, kind of, you know, so that's very deep. Awesome. Yeah, verse two, freaking amazing. 
ka ji tahu tu ki sing dai nu yo ka ya tu hu ki tong nu ji ka yu ya tu shi ka yu ju ta u tu yu ji zao zhan yao luo ti ti li na tu ti sha ko mo ka ho lu bei bon do yi ji mo le ti sa tao lu bei go fa yi ji mo le ti sang ga bo ko lu kan zai ti an bo ko le me kan yao zao dai mai no min zai ko ta ke ji tao bo ko lu kan zai ti an bo ko le me kan yao zao dai mai no min zai ko ta ke ji tao it's so sad, you know, him speaking so much truth about this. You know, I think there's way too many stories out there like this. Um, and I don't know. I don't know why people think it's okay for us to tell people to turn back around and what should they, right? Like, it's not right. And it's just so sad. So you know do we tell people to washing day up until the point where you can't anymore where like you're literally dead you know it's just very sad um so much truth and it's just very sad <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> just thinking about vocals now, it's like Ducci's vocals are very good, and I just she goes falsetto there, like um right around here. <laughs> like I can't do it, but I wish she you know belted. Like I every time I listen to Ducci sing, it's like I want her to belt, and I feel like she has potential. Um, but she mixes her voice. But anyways, I don't know much about vocals but i mean she could send me off if she could do that <laughs> like you know like if she just belts it I love it. Amazing job, DJ Peter. Amazing job, Magic. Amazing job, Ducci. Okay, yeah, this, mm, this was, this was super good, super sweet. Visuals, lyrics, production, uh, vocals, just like everything has a lot of meat to it. Um, and I enjoyed it. And uh, this was definitely needed. Lyrically. I think it's really difficult to listen to um, songs with this much like gravity because I feel like if you're in that place, it's really hard. But like, oh my gosh, close to tears. Um, I think lyrically it was amazing. Um, I feel like when you listen to music like this, you put yourself in um, the shoes of individuals who have gone through it or like lived through situations like this. And I feel so oh my gosh i'm getting so emotional i feel so deeply for people like that but um wow that was good a very um real deep song you know and i think it's very unfortunate that um these like this is still happening in our community and i think we can um do better and we need to be better um and I hope that we don't have to 
hear songs like this again um that talks about these stories you know i mean it's it's great that this song is out here because it really tells a story and it is happening and it's unfortunate and yeah i think if they can also i mean i didn't know i should have checked let me check here real quick if there is captions oh no it's just if they're if they put captions on um for others to really follow along with the song um in english and in and or Hmong. Overall, I think it's a great song. It sends a really strong message of, you know, just the domestic violence and domestic abuse that we have in the Hmong community. And that, you know, just the, with the whole patriarchy and everything that, you know, uh, for females to always, you know, kind of ocean they and go back and live with their abusive husband and, you know, stay in that abusive relationship, even though we know that it's better for them to not do that. And so I think it sends, uh, it sends a very strong message and a message that I feel like a lot of, you know, our Hmong community needs to listen to more and to take this seriously so that, you know, you know, with a lot of the murders that's been happening to uh, with our, you know, Hmong women in the community, I think this sends a strong message. And overall, musically, I think this is great. I think the rap was, you know, very lyrically great. I wish that it would have been a little bit of different flows. But, I mean, with the style of the song, it fits with it. So I'm not too, like, butthurt about it. I just wish there was a different flow so that it's not always, like, the same flow, even though it's a different rapper. And then with Ducci's part, you know, her vocals are always amazing. Uh, I just wish that that last chorus, there wasn't so many layering happening that uh, the vocals kind of get lost, you know, and the melodies get lost. So I think they could have done that a little differently. But overall, I think this is great. The instrumental is great, produced by DJ Peter, a known D uh, producer in the Moon community. And yeah, overall, it's really great. And so that concludes our music reaction to Ocean Day by Magic Hang featuring Duchi Yang. If you all like it, like the video and subscribe to our channel and leave a comment down below, you know, if you want us to do more music reactions like this, or maybe you could let us know what song you want us to react to next. But other than that, we will see you on the next episode and see ya.